Welcome to TFI Cut Tips. Oh, look, he's got that car on screen again. Oh, he loves that car, him, mate. Doesn't he? Oh, he loves a bit of that car. Oh, and you go get a room. Oh, yeah, nah, man, nah, nah. It's royalty free, though. What can you do? It's a big assembly. It's good for demonstrating this sort of stuff. So, what we're doing today, right? We're, we're looking at a new ticky box in Inventor. I say new. It, it came into 2016, and 2016's been out for nearly a year, and I've just realised that it's there and what it does. So that's kind of why I'm doing it now. Anyway, so if you've got Inventor 2015 and earlier, you're kind of shit out of luck. But if you've got 2016 and the future, then you should be good. Right, what is it? It's a ticky box which helps Inventor with large assemblies. It helps your PC cope with large assemblies better. In, in a very small scale kind of way. So it's in the I menu at the top, application options down here, display tab, and it's this one here, right? The ticky box is disable automatic refinement. The best way to describe what it does, right? It's going to be a quick video, right? It's pretty easy enough to understand setting. But the best way to compare it is to AutoCAD. If you've come from an AutoCAD background, you'll know exactly what I'm referring to here. If you zoom into a drawing full of circles in AutoCAD quite fast, all of a sudden AutoCAD starts turning your circles into pentagons and squares. And you'd be like, hang on a minute, I'm pretty sure I drew a circle there. Why is it now got corners? What's going on? What is this madness? And then you figure it takes 10 minutes, you realize you've got to regen the drawing and then your circles become circles again. Uh, and that's AutoCAD compromising the quality of your on-screen objects for the benefit of performance to make things smoother. I guess, I don't know the science behind it, but I guess for graphics cards and graphical engines, it's easier to draw straight lines on screen than it is circles and smooth arcs and stuff. So in order to make things quicker, it'll convert circles into straight lined objects. So this is the ticky box here, which controls it, disable automatic refinement. Now with the ticky box off, so automatic refinement is on. Let's zoom into the brake disc, right? So we'll zoom into these drilled holes. You can see everything is as it should be. It's all circular, it's all smooth, it's all looking good. Now the display settings that I've got in, a, in addition to that, quality so everything is full scale everything's full max anti-aliasing is on everything's smooth and pinpoint sharp let's turn on automatic refinement now or disable automatic refinement the ticky box that you would normally turn it on turns it off it blows my mind it re it's really really frustrating and confusing to try and explain this and the ticky anyway all right well, okay that and let's zoom into the brake disc and our circles will now have corners <laughs> So that's kind of what it does. So that now makes Inventor better handle large assemblies. Now this is probably not the best example to use because it's not the biggest assembly in the world. So I'm not going to see a massive benefit out of this assembly. But just to try and demonstrate the kind of benefit we're going to get from this, let's zoom in so we'll the, most of the models fill in the screen. And let's do a 3D orbit. Now this pink stuff up at the top left here, this is MSI Afterburner plugged into Inventor and it monitors real-time frames per second. It's a, a reflection of how well your PC is performing right now. It's how many frames per second are being displayed on screen. The higher number, the better. So let's do a 3D orbit and you'll see we're getting around about 35 to 40 frames per second, that kind of region, which is good, right? That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And that's with shadows and reflections and stuff turned on. So, uh, you know, high 35s to 40s. So that's with disable automatic refinement off. Let's, no, it's on. Oh my God, this has really hit my brain. So it, it, the ticky box is on. Let's turn it off, right? We're back to default. Circles are circles. Let's okay that. So now our circles should be back to being circles. There we go. Let's zoom out again. Fill the screen. So we're, we're sort of working on the same sort of size about there and let's do a 3d orbit so it's 35 to 40 frames per second where we're getting and you can see now it's sort of high 20s to 30 frames per second so it's not a massive you're not you're not getting a massive gain from it maybe eight to ten frames per second but you know it's still a relatively high jump in performance that'll scale depending on the graphics card you've got depending on the size of the model you're working on depending on all kinds of different things it'll entirely depend but in a nutshell regardless of all the ifs and buts and depends with a ticky box off you're going to have lower frames per second and lower performance with a ticky box on inventor will perform better with large assemblies right that's, i guess that's it in a nutshell a couple of things to just just to mention just not to worry about right when your circles turn into squares and stuff it's not going to affect anything it's not going to affect your center of gravity your mass properties or your parts nothing like that it's not going to affect prints bill of materials obviously nothing right it's just purely what inventor draws on your monitor so don't worry about that right a couple of other things to mention all right two more things to mention right the first one i want to extend a lovely warm smile and a friendly handshake to autodesk and thank them very much for making my life ridiculously awkward and complicated it's taken me like half an hour to get to this point because i've just been trying to figure out the flipping hell's going on right when when you turn on the setting right when you turn on the setting the extent of the refinement is entirely dependent on the zoom factor of the model on screen right that's 
what I've observed. If I turn this, if I turn it on here, right, we're zoomed out this far. Let's turn on this ticky box, and let's zoom into the break disc. Right, that's the extent of the faceting. Right, it's pretty obvious that it's happened. So let's zoom out again, and let's turn it back on. Okay, let's zoom back in, and watch what happens. Right, so let's turn on automatic refinement at this point. Right, zoomed in this close. Okay, nothing, nothing happens. <laughs> If you zoom in even further, you can see there is a very, very minimal amount of faceting going on, but the extent in which it does it seems to depend entirely on how far you zoomed in or zoomed out at the time you turn the setting on, which is just a bit crazy. I don't know why. And you think, oh, if you zoom, oh, no, you've got to zoom out and zoom back in. No, no, that doesn't really do anything. They're still full circles. So it's just, I don't know why that happens. So that's, that's a thing that, that I noticed and observed and took me a while to figure out and had to stop and restart the video multiple times because of it. The second thing I want to mention, just to finish this up, this pink stuff up the top, like I said, it's MSI Afterburner, and I highly recommend, highly recommend that you just don't even think about getting this. Don't do it, please. It is hideously unreliable. It makes Inventor stupidly unreliable. I mean, it'll crash out every two minutes. You'll be zooming, you'll be orbiting, Inventor will freeze. In fact, I've had to edit this video to cut out about 30 seconds worth of freezing and halting. It's horrible. It makes Inventor so unreliable. But that's not Inventor's fault. It's not designed to have this plugged into the graphics window. So just... Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's all right for testing. Yeah, if you want to test your graphics card, you want to see what kind of real time frames per second you're getting. By all means, do that. Test it on a test part. Don't use it in production. By all, just just don't even think about it. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much. That's what the ticky box does. If it was useful, please press like, comment, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. You know, man, you know what to do. All right, cheers. Bye.